Mr. Speaker, when I, I support the intentional move by the budget committee to allocate more funds in areas where the young people of Kenya may benefit through jobs creation, and more specifically when I talk about job creation, I'm talking about the value addition areas and processing that has been given more attention and allocated more money, the school feeding program that has been able to be given 3 billion shillings, that is a positive move, Mr. Speaker. The intentional move to add more resources to TVETs and Kenya medical training colleges so that we can accommodate more of our young people into the training. And the intentional move to add more money in value addition projects like the fish, the ultra modern fish processing plant in Liwatoni and many other value addition ventures that has received a positive increment on money allocation. Mr. Speaker, whereas I appreciate that uh, the young people of Kenya have been given an opportunity to get more busy with such ventures in value addition, I'm quite concerned because the current president, His Excellency William Samoei Ruto, when he was a deputy president, has pledged many times that he's going to provide milk coolers to most of our farmers in our villages, Gidongori constituency being one. Mr. Speaker, his promises has never been fulfilled. And we do understand it is because maybe there was limitation on funding. So the fact that uh, this proposal has allocated more money into buying of milk coolers in this country to a tune of two billion is a positive move, move for me. Not because the farmers did not have the coolers, but because more coolers will create more opportunities for our farmers and across the value chain to create jobs even for the young people. But Mr. Speaker, I'm glad that the chairman of the budget committee is in the house. And I would want to have some clarification why the money that was allocated for coffee cherry fund has been reduced with one billion shillings. This is something that I have been raising since the beginning of this year. We were promised that we are going to get four billion shillings for cherry fund. Later on, we were promised that our farmers, the coffee farmers, are going to be given six billion shillings to clear our debts. But according to the document that I have, Madam Speaker, vote number 1173 says that the Ministry of Cooperative and Development Management is going to lose one billion shillings recurrent fund from Coffee Cherry Fund. Mr. Speaker, I would want a clarification on why Coffee Cherry Fund is being reduced to, from whatever was allocated initially to losing one billion shillings. Is it that our farmers have not absorbed the money? Is it that they have realized that our farmers have had enough of Cherry Fund, now they have to reduce to one billion, from, one, from two billion shillings to one billion? Or what is this that has informed the budget committee to reduce Cherry Fund to this level? Mr. Speaker, Madam Speaker, I am a farmer, sorry. I am a farmer, and I can tell you that not all farmers have received Cherry Fund as we speak. Some of the farmers requested for 80 shillings per kilo of Cherry Fund, they only received 20 shillings. There are some factories as we speak who requested for cherry fund and have never received this money. So when we come now and revise the budget and reduce this money in the excuse of that we are adding more coolers, does it mean that milk farmers who are receiving coolers are more important than coffee farmers? This is a question that I would want to get answer from the relevant committee because it is not right for us to be playing public relations with our farmers. It is not right for us to be promising our farmers something on television, but when it comes to actual figures, we play around with figures. So I will not support this until I'm clear why coffee farmers are getting a reduction. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you.